Well, uh, I was a teacher for 14 years. Then I became an education advisor with Rotherham uh, for language development. Then I became a school inspector and I finished in 1997 as a schools inspector with Ofsted and working with HMI. And then um, I took to serious writing. And so I'm an author and write poetry collections. And I work as a visiting professor at Teesside University and still run conferences and courses and still try to do a bit of teaching every other week in schools. Uh, so I'm still, as you said, pretty busy at the moment. Well, I was very flattered to be asked to be Chancellor of the Children's University at Doncaster. Um, people sometimes think that all learning takes place within a school context, and of course it doesn't. Most learning takes place out of school, really. And what the Open, what the I was going to say the Open yeah. University, the Children's University does, is that it gives children a massive opportunity to do a range, a variety of things out of school, and to get credits for it. So it's not just about reading and writing and number work. They have a whole variety of different things to be involved with. Um, sports and drama and music and visits to the library, to the museum. What is so great about it is that children can build up these credits, that they can attend and build up credits for their passports. And building up the credits gives them a real incentives to attend. So it's amazing uh, the uh, interest of children to come along. I hope that a lot more schools will become involved because teachers know really that uh, these activities, extracurricular, out of school activities, are very, very important. And I think when I was been to the various um, graduation ceremonies when children get their certificates and the diplomas and uh, it's absolutely a delight to see the faces. The two things in education that lead to achievement, in my view, one is self-esteem, feeling good about yourself and knowing that you can do it as, as well as anybody else. And the second is expectation. And as a little boy growing up in Rotherham, in a semi-detached house, with my dad a steel worker, um, he used to say to me, you're as good as anybody else. And they had ambitions that I should go to college. So I just think it's a, a really wonderful initiative uh, for children to become involved with. I mean, uh, the Open University, you can build up credits, so you can, at your own pace, and the Open University, which I was a consultant, uh, is, is wonderful because it gives children the opportunity to, uh, gives adults the opportunity to work during the day and then do the degrees by different, you can have half credit or more credits. This is replicated in the children's university so they can work at their own pace and they can build up from say um, an, a certificate up to a diploma up to a degree and it's amazing that that boy has done a thousand and seventeen hours attending things like maybe uh, BMX or going swimming or in the scouts uh, and he may be have gone to the library uh, the museum all these activities and he can see it building up in his passport and he can see it building up towards that degree level and what he's so I just think is wonderful about it is that they have the award ceremony at uh, Doncaster College where the principal, uh, Mr Trow, comes along and parents come along and children wear their little gowns and wear their mortarboards with the tassels on and they can come up, little ones, and have their hands shaken and show the certificate. And I always say, to mums and dads will probably have it on the wall or have it in your bedroom. And it gives them the incentive, maybe, for the youngsters and for the parents who have never had any experience of higher education. They might think, well, you know, I might want to go on to do a real degree in a, in a university. And that's what happened with me, that, you know, my father always had ambitions, and my mother, to go and do a degree. We were the first graduates in our family. And I think these children, many of them, will be the first graduates eventually in their family. The other great thing, Linda, is not just looking at the children's little faces, the smiles and the nervousness and coming up with the waterboard sometimes tilted, but I sweep round and look at the parents and the great joy of the parent to see the children achieve. Good parents 
when a child stumbles or fails, they help them up, put their arm around them, as my mum would say, and say, oh, it's not the end of the world, love. But when they actually celebrate, they get an award, a certificate, and the I think the only two times I saw my father cry was at the war memorial and when I got my degree. And the pride on the parents' face gives them an initiative, an, an incentive to work and attend, which is wonderful. Gosh, that's a question. Well, I would say that uh, initially children and parents and maybe teachers are a bit reticent about coming involved. What does it involve? How much work does it involve? And you see the child maybe coming to the first session uh, rather nervously, waiting outside. But once they're lured in and they realise that it's good fun and it's enjoyable and they can actually pursue some of their own interests, then the boy who might be interested in BMX or uh, drama or something with music once they actually get involved and they meet other children and the other thing is they're meeting other children from other schools so they're networking and they're talking about what they do in other schools it's it's grown a great deal because it seemed to be a very welcoming warm receptive organization it doesn't frighten children it doesn't actually they don't have to hand work in to have it marked and teacher read it and marked it and corrected it and they have to they don't have to go home and do work and come in there's no things like detentions or anything like that so it really is just good fun and that's why it, around the country it is developing uh and uh, at a really good rate i mean 120 different you know groups around the country and growing I attend the degree ceremonies at universities, the convocations, and I sit and all the professors and the vice chancellor and the chancellor process down in their gowns, reds and greens and purples and gold and great hoods with fur on, and they process down, and the graduates who are going to receive the degree are sitting there and the parents at the back. And I used to look at the parents' faces. And often when a young woman or a young man was, was awarded the degree, conferred the degree, the, the necks would look up like this. And they'd look at each other, and then the person on stage would look at the parents as if to say, you know, look what I've achieved, Mum, and they were so proud. That is the great thing. We at the uh, Doncaster Children's University have that degree ceremony where the parents and the children all come in in their silk gowns with the mortarboards and it's, it's, the, it's the trappings, the formality of it, which is just wonderful. And you're quite right in saying that the great joy is to see the children's face getting the certificate or the diploma or the degree, uh, putting it in the hands and the little faces. What I think at the end of the day is that um, children achieve a, a great deal of self-esteem, self-confidence, and they broaden their interests widely. And that's the great advantage of this organisation. Uh, and people work hard, many volunteers and people put a lot of time in for the good of the children. I would say the children deserve the best the world can give them, no less, because a child's life is pretty fragile. And some children are very nervous. And I remember my own childhood. I was not a particularly confident child, but I went along to the youth theatre. My dad said, go along and do backstage. Just do the props. And I saw these really confident youngsters on stage. They were rather like lovies. Mm -hmm. I mean, darling. Yeah. And I was this shy little lad from Rotherham doing the props. Mm -hmm. And the producer, Bill Hammond, said when one of the boys who was going to Oxford backed out, will you read in the part of the character? And I read it in. And I didn't just read it in. It was going to audition for somebody else. Mm. I, give it, I thought, I'm going to have a go at that. Mm. And I read it. And afterwards he said, do you want the part? And then I became a part of this coterie, this group of youngsters. And my confidence, you know, I taught for England, my confidence just rocketed. And that's what the Children's University does. It gives children the opportunity, sometimes shy, a bit reticent, to join other children and build up their confidence, their self-esteem, and make them really have ambition to get...
to a university eventually and get a degree and wear the hood and the gown at some of that Leeds or Oxford or whatever. And that's, I think, for me, the great advantage of this amazing organisation.